A photograph shared by NASA's Perseverance rover is currently doing the rounds, showing what appears to be a rainbow. Although NASA said this isn't what people are seeing, something else in the background caught people's attention. According to NASA, they have said that the image does not show a rainbow. They said the following on social media. Many have asked, is that a rainbow on Mars? No, rainbows aren't possible here. Rainbows are created by light reflecting off round water droplets, but there isn't enough water here to condense, and it's too cold for liquid water in the atmosphere. This arc is a lens flare. End quote. People's attention quickly turned to the strange objects that can be seen in the background. Immediately people started to share the image beneath NASA's reply, with some even reporting that NASA was deleting and suppressing certain comments that pointed this out. One person said the following, It's funny because a lot of people are seeing these strange objects in the background of these photographs, and people are even pointing them out to NASA yet they've ignored every single person so far. For me, they're not smudges, because when you look at the images, they were taken seconds apart from each other, and the object is in different positions in the sky. I've searched through older Mars photographs and have found similar things. It's great that people are starting to find these UFOs. End quote. Now it's important to note that an unidentified flying object doesn't mean it's alien, but as some have pointed out when these strange objects keep getting found above Mars, it does make you question what they are. Another person said the following, NASA's Perseverance rover has already sent back many images, and what I find interesting is how these black objects can be seen in a few of them. They match similar looking objects that have been captured in previous images. Although they can be hard to see, I'm glad that people are questioning what these things are. Even if they have a natural origin, I think it's important that we ask these questions. End quote. However, some have said that these objects are not of interest, and are likely smudges and dust. With that being said, amateur researchers who have searched through old NASA images have claimed that they can't be dismissed so easily, and that other rovers have captured unidentified flying objects above the Martian surface. This photograph was taken by NASA's Curiosity rover back in 2014, and shows what some say is a large triangular craft. Others say it looks more like a disc, but one thing that most agree on is that it looks strange and out of place. The image started to gain traction when a few websites posted about it. People use this image as proof that the triangular shaped crafts have the ability to travel to other planets. I've covered the triangular shaped crafts various times, and as mentioned each time people who study them can't agree on what they are. One UFO researcher said the following, This photograph is interesting because it's one of those that the more you zoom in, the more interesting it gets. At first, it's easy to miss the UFO in the background, but once you zoom in, you're able to see the corners of this thing. You can also tell that it's in the background as opposed to being on the camera. Usually when it's a piece of mud or debris, it has a smudge effect. In this image, you can tell it's hovering in the background. I think this is one of those times where the NASA rover accidentally caught something in the background. End quote. So what does NASA say about this? They have said that although the photographs can look interesting and in some cases otherworldly, every single time one of their scientists have investigated them they've always come to the conclusion that they're natural, and don't show anything to suggest that they're a genuine UFO. The most common explanation they use is that these types of objects are just pareidolia. This is where our mind tricks us into thinking something is there when it isn't. Amateur researchers though don't buy into this idea, and say that these days NASA doesn't even investigate these sightings, and just uses the same explanation every time something strange is seen. It's not just UFOs found on Mars. Another object of interest is that of the Mars monolith. 
The Mars monolith is a rectangular object that was identified on Mars's surface. Orbit imagery taken from the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter at around 180 miles away shows that the Mars monolith sits at the bottom of a cliff, which scientists believe it likely fell from. The monolith has had waves of attention since its discovery by the High Resolution Imaging Science Experiment Camera aboard the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter. Because of this, science regularly speak on the matter of the Mars monolith, as well as other similar structures found on Mars and elsewhere in the solar system. Jonathan Hill, a researcher and mission planner at the Mars Spaceflight Facility at Arizona State University, is tasked with processing a large chunk of NASA's Mars mission imagery. Hill states in his opinion the object is most likely a peculiar shaped rock. Speaking on the matter, Hill said the following, When your resolution is too low to fully resolve an object, it tends to look rectangular, because the pixels in the images are square. Any curve will look like a series of straight lines if you reduce your resolution. This would explain the large number of monoliths found in the solar system. This visual illusion is a side effect of our distance from things in outer space. The high resolution imaging science experiment camera is able to take photographs at a resolution of one foot per pixel. While that might be useful for a large number of research purposes, it does mean that smaller objects can lose focus in detail. To heal the location of the Mars monolith also suggests that it's nothing more than a boulder. He argues that it makes little sense for a being or beings to create such an object, just to leave it in a location where it would eventually fall. He also said the following about aliens. If I was going to build a monolith somewhere, that's the last place I'd put it. The debris from the cliff would cover it up pretty quickly. End quote. So what do you make of these interesting photographs captured on and above Mars? Do you think they show unidentified flying objects? Or do you believe NASA in that these are just camera anomalies and debris? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.